Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is going to be your November 2020 monthly zodiac reading for Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpios. I hope that you guys are ready for a change because change is definitely on its way this month. Um, we got a lot going on. I know Mercury is in retrograde was in retrograde within the constellation Scorpio, but it is now in Libra, and I believe it's going to go direct again on the 10th or the 3rd. I'm not too sure, but expect a lot of things to be made right. People are going to definitely be looking within themselves, um, creating a balance, not only within themselves, but outside of themselves. Um, so a lot of things should definitely be coming to the surface so that you can um, be aware of that and address those things. <clears throat> um a few things before I begin, or just one thing before I begin. I am hosting a shadow work class on Zoom, or should I say via Zoom. If you're interested in joining that shadow work class, I'm going to leave the link for the Zoom down in the description box. However, if you want the meeting ID and password, you have to reach out to me as it changes every week. And just to keep it, what's the word? More intimate and not um, invasive. Um, I am changing the password every week. So, let's give the card a little shuffle, shuffle. So we can get started. Now, how I've been doing this for the past couple of months is you and your person, how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person wants to want you to know, and the overall outcome for the month of November for each of you, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started, Scorpio. Let's see what we got. Mm. I feel like Scorpios are definitely having a lot of changes taking place right now. Dealing with getting adjusted to a lot of changes and embracing some, you know, some new ideas, some new journeys. I kind of feel that. I don't know. I just do. Spirit, for November 2020... Scorpio, how does their person see them? Your person sees you as investing in self. Maybe um, working on yourself, you know, growing, things like that. Um, they see themselves being closer to you or getting closer to you. Or, or I'm sorry, they may see you... They may see you investing someplace else. Let me clarify that. Because sometimes you need to pull all three cards. I feel like they know you're investing in someone else. Like you're getting closer to someone else. Because you're not speaking to them. I feel like you're not, you don't want to reconcile with them. Nothing. You know, you just, you know, very conflicted about them. And I don't think, and I feel like they, you don't think that they know. Or you feel like they don't know. Okay, now let's see how you see your person, Scorpio, for the month of November 2020. Hmm, maybe um, you see yourself or you see the two of you ending something, you know, putting something to bed. I mean, let's see, spirit. I could get the cards to stop falling out of my slippery ass hands. <laughs> um, they see, you see them as Lacking confidence, maybe a little insecure. You see them as like you've given too much and they haven't given it in return. You see them as a one sided type of deal. Like they don't give what you give or that you don't give what they give. Like you're not giving each other. Someone is giving more than the other. Basically, it's like a lopsided, you know, situation here. OK, that's how you see them. Like, I feel like you gave them more than they gave you. So now you're looking at them as being very insecure and you kind of want it to end. Like you want it to, you're not happy, okay? Spirit, what does this Scorpio want their person to know? What are they keeping from them? Spirit, what does this Scorpio? So 
you're going through a change. And I said that spiritually, I feel you're trying to get more in tuned. You're trying to connect more with your crown. Okay. You're trying to connect with your spirits, your guides. You're on a mission right now. <laughs> you're on a mission of self-investment, you know, and they may see you as pushing yourself towards someone else or maybe getting closer to someone else because you're not talking to them, but in actuality, or I'm sorry, and they also feel like you're investing in something or someone else, but in actuality, you're investing in yourself. That's what I feel, okay? Spirit, what doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know for the month of November 2020? What are they keeping a secret? What do they have going on? Mm, they are confused emotionally. They are confused emotionally. So your person, <laughs> they're working on something. They, they've got some, some, some good things coming into their lives. I feel like they want to bring you, like they're working on something. Like they want to bring some kind of stability towards you or at least some good luck, like good fortune, like, you know, good tidings. Um, yeah, because <laughs> it's almost like they don't want you to know that they're not dealing with something anymore. Like something didn't work out for them. But they're working on changing it. Like, you know, I feel like money is involved or stability. Like they want to bring you more stability. Something more solid. But I still feel like they're very much emotionally confused. Because something didn't work out with someone like something they were trying to work on or some something they were working on somebody with. Spirit, what is the overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio? What is the overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio? Spirit, what is the overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio? Well, looks like you'll be in control of your feelings, you know? Hmm. Owning your power, manifesting your, your reality. There's still some kind of hope. Things can still happen for you. Um, I do kind of feel like, though, with this Knight of Wands in reverse, you, you could be... Dealing with something coming towards you that's trying to knock you off your game. But you're not. And it could be your person. <laughs> it could be your person, but you're not getting off your game. You on your game. You on one. I told you. They think you're getting closer to somebody, but you're actually working on yourself. And you may have to deal with this little controversy because I feel it. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a um, fire sign. Sag, Aries, or Leo. Spirit, overall outcome for Scorpio's person. Standing their ground. Your person's going to stand their ground. I don't feel like they're going to fold. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio's person. They're not prepared. Like, they're just not prepared. They're not financially stable. It's like they want to be in there. And emotionally... I just get this feeling that they're out of control. You're in control and they're out of control. Okay? There's definitely going to be some opportunities here, though, for you to move forward. So for you to realize your worth, basically, that's what I'm feeling. And that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, that's what you're doing. You're realizing that, you know? And for them, they're just, they're not moving fast enough. I think that there may be something deeper to this, but... Overall, what I'm getting is they want to be stable. That's what they want to bring to you, but, and they stopped dealing with someone else. They did because it didn't work out, but they're still very much confused. They are emotionally. They have a lot of options, too many probably in their face. 
you know, somebody probably throwing it at him. You know what I'm saying? But overall, they're not prepared. They're not going to be able to bring you stability. They're not going to be able to do it. I see a lot of stubbornness, a lot of, um, like, arrogance and um, not willing to fold. Okay? And I also feel like they're kind of going to get annoyed with you and you're or you're going to be annoyed with them by the end of the month. Like you're just going to be kind of tired of each other. I think that the feeling might be actually mutual. You both might be a little tired of each other at this point in time. That's why you're going through like that, that self-investing. That's why you're doing all of that. Because you're tired of what you've been through. Spirit, please clarify. How does Scorpio's person see them in the month of October? I'm sorry, in the month of November 2020. Yeah, you're you're investing someplace else. That's how they see you. Not with them, though. That's the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Spirit, please clarify how Scorpio's person sees them in the month of November 2020. They, they feel like the door is closing between you and them. Like it's over, you know? And I think that it's probably just in time, to be very honest with you. That's what I'm feeling. It's just in time. Because I told you, I feel like both of you are just kind of tired of each other. Spirit, please confirm. Scorpio's person, how do they see them? Mm, there's no going back. You're not going back. That's what I feel. They, You see them as like not wanting to take responsibility for what they've done. Okay? Um, they hold on. They won't, they won't let this end. They keep coming back. <laughs> they keep coming back. Spirit, how does Scorpio see their person in the month of November 2020? New beginnings. I feel like you think that they're dealing with someone else. Remember, I told you they stopped, but you feel like they're starting something new. You know, building something someplace else. It's a new, it's new feelings, new emotions, like a new relationship. Like you, you feel like that's what they're doing, or that's how you see them. Spirit, please clarify what doesn't Scorpio want their person to know for the month of November 2020? What is Scorpio keeping from their person? They're investing in themselves, looking out into, you know, possibilities of growth and expansion, trying to get more in tune. But please clarify this for us. What does Scorpio not want their person to know? Mm. You, you know, they over here stabilizing or trying to get their money, but you over there getting it. <laughs> you over there getting it right now, okay? You getting it. Spirit, <laughs> you're not regretful either. You're not in your head. You are, you're sleeping well. You're good. Um, spirit, please clarify. What doesn't Scorpio want the person to know for the month of October 2020? Mm -mm -mm. You are repressing your feelings because you're, rep not, you're not repressing them. That's the bad way to put it. Everything is out on the table. You know what I'm saying? You're kind of like getting rid of those feelings. You know what I'm saying? You're getting rid of the illusions. You're getting rid of the lies and the secrets and you're done with it. You know, you're in a position of receiving what you've lost. And that's what I feel like you're getting back things that you've lost. Money, stability, resources, networking, friendships, um, a new mentality about relationships, wealth. Like you're changing, you're evolving. Spirit, what doesn't... Scorpio's person want them to know for the month of November 2020. They're not stable. <laughs> Whatever they were trying to do didn't work. They might have lost their job or something. Spirit, what doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know for the month of October? I'm sorry, the month of November 2020. I get out of October safety. Oh, they still lying. So they are definitely lying about that, not dealing with that person. And that's, I mean, they probably aren't dealing with them physically. But emotionally, like I said, they're very much still confused. They don't they they don't know what they want. They they don't. They're confused. Spirit, what doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? It may be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries who may not even want to be bothered with them. Okay. <laughs> um, your person is definitely arrogant, too arrogant, too cocky, too sure of themselves, and they ain't got no money. Like I'm just keeping it real. I ain't even got no money. Mm. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October. I'm sorry, the month of November 2020 for Scorpio. What is the overall outcome? Scorpio, this bond is getting broken. It's done. This was definitely a karmic situation for you, and it's done. Spirit. Okay, okay. 
I can't get the color. Uh, so, where were we? Back to you. You're moving on, okay? You are moving out of this season. You're moving out of this stage. You're moving out of this phase. Um, I also feel like this is definitely karmic. This relationship was karmic. You have some soul ties, you know, and you're ready to break them. You are. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio. Mm, something's holding you back. Something is holding you back because you want a new beginning. I feel like it's this situation specifically that's holding you back because you want a new beginning. You're very hesitant. By the end of the month, I feel like you're 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 gonna stop. You're gonna pull back. You're gonna pull back because you you want to get out this season, and this is karmic. Like I'm almost getting this. You haven't learned your lesson yet. Um. Yeah, and with the wheel of fortune, it's like okay, yes, you're moving forward, but you tend you and this your person, y'all go back and forth a lot. You know, sometimes it's, you know, good moments in the relationship. Sometimes it's not, you know, um, probably break up, get back together. This is definitely a clear indication of that, that wheel of fortune. But then what confirms that for me is the full reverse. Like you're very hesitant about moving forward. It's almost like it's, it's scary for you because you don't you probably because they've been in your life for a long time. Spirit overall outcome for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio's person. Mm. Now they got the King of Cups upright. Like you had the King of Cups. Your person gonna be lonely and sad. Lonely and sad. And refusing to change. This whole situation, I don't see change taking place. I'm just being very honest with you. I see a continuous cycle here. It's your choice to change it, though. I'm just keeping it real. Your person is tired of the situation like you are, but they're not showing any emotion. They're very much in control, okay? They're very insecure and very fearful. They're afraid. They're very alone, sad, not seeing things on the bright side. Um, and then I feel like with this temperance card, they could be pushing towards healing because of this. Not because of the relationship, but because they really can't seem to get this, their shit together. They're having a really difficult time. All of their pentacles are in reverse. They're having a really difficult time getting it together, okay? Really difficult time. Let's get some confirmation on the table. Mm -mm, Scorpio. Please confirm how does Scorpio's person see them for the month of November 2020? How do they see them? Throwing in the towel. Spirit, how does Scorpio's person see them for the month of November 2020? I told you they think you're giving up, you're moving on. Spirit, how does Scorpio's person see them for the month of November 2020? Please confirm. being too hard they don't see you being very feminine like <laughs> um they see you like being too masculine <laughs> and they want you to be more feminine but they're not masculine i kind of feel they want you to be more feminine but they're not more masculine spirit overall please confirm <laughs> For Scorpio's person, how does Scorpio see their person? You hurt, listen, they hurt you. You're very resentful. 
I feel like they it's a mutual thing though. Like I feel like they hurt you, you hurt them. Resentment. Definitely. You got the tennis wards twice, okay? Once in reverse and once upright. They definitely you you resent each other. Spirit, spirit, <laughs> spirit overall, less. You see them as broke. <laughs> they have no stability. I'm telling you. They are something else. Um, you see them as I guess. How can I put this with the five of pentacles changing or moving or growing elsewhere with that ace of cups? They're they're finding what they missed or what they've been lacking someplace else. That's how you see them. OK, spirit overall, please confirm what is Scorpio keeping from their person in the month of November 2020? You don't want them to know that you really don't know what you're doing. I mean, you're working on yourself. You're getting back the things that you lost, yes. But you don't know where you're headed. You don't. You're just doing what you got to do right now. Stacking your money. But you're very unsure of yourself, which is not a good thing. It's not. And that has a lot to do with your, feminine, your femininity. You're not looking within yourself for the answers. You need to reflect more. Like, you're, try, you're struggling with that. You're struggling with that. Spirit... And, and you're you're trying to heal too like you're having a difficulty your person is over here he, you know towards the end of the month getting towards that and you're still trying to heal probably from this situation what does that like spirit please confirm what doesn't scorpio's person want them to know for the month of november 2020 isolated they are isolating themselves from everybody so like i said you know they something may not have worked out with someone okay that they may have been, you know, dealing with or trying to build with. It may not have worked out, okay? So they're isolating themselves. It could be you. They're holding on, though. They're holding on by a very thin thread. They don't want it to end. And they feel like they're going to win. Like, it's, you know, they're, they're in this battle for the long run. That's what I feel. Like, this person, no matter what happens, I feel like if you don't make, if you don't put an end to it, they won't. Just keeping it all the way real. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October, for the month of November 2020 for Scorpio. Overall outcome, spirit for Scorpio, November 2020. Investing in yourself, continuing to do that. Having a hard time seeing things differently. That's probably why you're having a hard time moving forward. Because you can't see it differently. Which is something you need to do. And I see you kind of like shunning away from your person. Like, I don't want to be bothered with you anymore. You don't make me happy. This isn't a happy family. This ain't that. Like, this is not what this is. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Spirit overall outcome for Scorpio's person for the month of November 2020. Please confirm. King of Cups. They're going to be in control of themselves emotionally. I'm also feeling like something about love for some reason. Yeah, we have the Magician card. They're getting their shit together towards the end of the month overall. Um, spirit. They don't trust you, though. I don't know why, and there's a new beginning for them, definitely for you. But I feel like they're, they're losing their trust. I feel like they're kind of like... Um, they're in control emotionally, very insecure, very unhappy, but they're trying to change that, okay? They don't really trust you. I don't know. Like I said, you both betrayed each other. So they don't really trust you. They don't want to share their, their complete feelings with you. You know, they're keeping their feelings to themselves and just, you know, maintaining it, trying to act like it, nothing bothers them, like they don't care, but the naturality they do. And they're in the cut manifesting what they do want to happen between the two of you, basically. So they may not be telling you, but... They manifesting. Let's get a few Oracle cards out here and see what messages we have from Oracle. Is there any messages from Oracle for Scorpio for November 2020? Integration. Anger. One more spirit. We get three cards out here. It's time to integrate something into your life. 
Yeah, it's time to integrate something into your life. Get rid of your anger. You're, you're very angry with each other. Very. And emotional release. Some of you need to really get this, get this, get these tears out. Okay? You need to cry it out and let it go. You need to have this talk or have this communi or communicate. And I kind of feel like your person doesn't won't do that. They won't have that emotional conversation with you. They won't have that talk with you. But it needs to happen. And you're just, I just feel like you're angry and you're upset with them. Because it's the end. And you know it's the end. And that's why you're really angry. And what I feel like you need to integrate into your life right now. Is belief in yourself. Belief that you can do it. You need to start changing the way you think and the way that you see things. Because that is ultimately holding you back. You need to see your worth. You need not be afraid of this new beginning. Because this will always be like this if you don't put an end to it. It's not going to change. You can move, you can block, you can not answer, but they will find a way back in if you don't make some kind of legitimate change to this. And I'm talking about internally, not externally. All right? It's all about the way you're seeing things. It's all about your mindset and your concept of how you see things. That's, what's needs, that's what needs to change. All right, Scorpio, again, happy birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed your monthly November 2020 reading. Um, again, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, the rest, leave it. It's not going to resonate with everybody every month. It's just not it. Um, this could resonate with you if you're Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? It's not always about your sun sign. Um, but if this reading has resonated with you, please leave a comment and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you want to sign up for my shadow work class, or if you're looking for a more private, personal, in-depth reading, or if you want to purchase any selenite crystals, hit me up, theblackcosmicologian at gmail.com, or message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave everything down below in the description box so you guys can get in touch with me. Enjoy your November, Scorpios, and I will catch you guys next month. As always, I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>